Jabo Shaw. And they're going to throw on the first pass. How about that for a little bit? Ten. Shaw with the pitch to Wilcox, who runs for the first. Person in the top ten, giving up only about 100 yards per game on the ground. And here's another big run. This time, Darian Robinson. First down. They give it to the... Pitched it at the last second. Ball's on the ground. Converting on 44% of their third downs. Here's a third and three. And on a pitch, they get it and will have it fall on every play. Another pitch. Wilcox. Balance towards the left. Shaw goes there, but he is collared. Third and goal. And the ball is fumbled, not a clean snap. Picked up by a Delaware defender. Chris Morales has the football. The last one came in 2000. For the Southern. Shaw hanging on to it. And he has just leveled us who play well together, but Mark Rell's the only standout. Shaw going to throw it again. One on one coverage, and it's in the Southern. One now comes in motion. That's Wilcox. And then the pitch to Brown side. Wilcox joins the backfield. And just in the nick of time, with Jeff Munkin coming back with the triple option offense. Shaw looking to throw, and he throws it out of bounds. He had no to be out of the pocket and throw the ball at least to the line of scrimmage. That time he was still in the pocket and threw it well over his head, so they got the grounding call. And now Wilcox loses grounding over Maryland, close to Washington, D.C. This formation is not what Georgia Southern wants to be in. Third and 15, Shaw. Three good quarterbacks who have come through here, most of them transfers, or many of them transfers. Shaw with the pitch, opportunity to do so, and look where he is now. He is a terrific quarterback with the Ravens. Another pitch. To Darion. Out after today. Nick Rapone said they had to keep running in different point men during practice to keep them fresh. Second and eight. Delaware with guys that stacked at the line of scrimmage, and there's a six. Shaw with a deception. They're taking them all the way to a national semifinal. Scott on the run from the 10. Got a seam up the right side into Delaware territory. Finally, he is taken as an A-back. There he is, number 15 in motion, and they pitch to him. McKinnon is out. Shaw, late pitch over to Wilcox, and he is taken. They fumbled. Near the goal line, last time out. And another fumble. Wilcox loses it. Delaware gets it. Daryl Jones. Last week was sacked four times, but only once in the second half in that win over New Hampshire. 16 to 3 win. The pitch was very successful on the opening. Just tackle the football. Second and seven. There's the pitch. McKinnon gets the first down. Terrific cut. And he is off and running. Anthony Walters, number nine, fine game. It resulted in the fumble near the goal line. Here's the opening drive of the second half. And Shaw is smacked for spot. Now in that spot with Markerell down on the line as a deep defensive end. This time they give it to the dive man. That one was just a one-yard game. Third and eight. Not a good situation for this offense, a third and long. Shaw hangs on to it and doesn't get much for the second time. In three years, they won the national title a couple years ago, going unbeaten. And the pitch to McKinnon. The kicks championships. Six and 16 years, but none since 2000. That for in rushing defense, but they're playing a team that primarily, if not exclusively, runs the football. They've given up considerably more yardage today. And McKinnon, he is a slot back. Uh -huh. 
There's been an assistant under him, three different stops. Getting louder. Shaw hangs on to it. Does McKinnon gets the pitch and gets the first down. I think at one point. And now it's 10 to 3. Georgia Southern is driving. The winner plays Eastern Washington January 7th for the championship. Brown. Three stack wide receiver set on the left side. We saw it a couple of times in the first half. Shaw goes in the opposite direction. And He's going to put it up. Shaw wants the ball. Macarell was first down, just over a minute left to go. Shaw with the pitch to Robert Brown. Another great finish. Thank you so much, Lowell. We are back here, anticipating a great finish between Delaware and Georgia Southern. Third and six. And the first completion of the game. Go for it on fourth down, so a huge conversion for Georgia Southern. Keeps the drive alive. Now at the 43-yard line, two in a row. For the first time today, they don't break out of it. Shaw hangs on to it, finds a little bit. Of first down at the 32, the pitch and five for Georgia Southern. And another foot. Shaw with the pitch to McKinnon, and he gets maybe a Christmas weekend or New Year's weekend, so it'll be a three-week break, kind of like a semi-bowl break. McKinnon again, spin four. And a flag down. Fake pitch, Shaw throws it up, and it is on the eight. Shaw pitching it to McKinnon. Ran into one of his blockers. Far means zero points in the two trips to the red zone. McKinnon cut down. Get him off balance. Six offensive linemen on third and goal. Shaw, stutter steps, no. To the right side. McKinnon in the backfield. Shaw pitches it. And in for the touchdown. Georgia Southern record, but that was a critical mistake. Balls at the four instead of the 40. Pass complete to Trey Butler. And Butler. Thank you very much. We are here in Delaware. Georgia Southern needs a couple of score, oh. quick scores, but they give it up. up. Keeping it on the ground to Brown. The job that Jeff Munkin has done with this program to get them back this far in the playoffs, really a tribute to his coaching skills. Absolutely remarkable. In his first year, brand new offense, the triple option, and they played for the uh, for the national spot in the national championship game, and were not for the turnovers, might have gotten there. So really a great story for Georgia Southern this year. Shaw puts it up, and it's not four. Shaw should have had it completed for the first.